think one of the questions I get asked most often is why? You know, why do I make stuff that most people just go out and buy? In honesty, it feels a bit of an odd question. It's a bit like asking, you know, why me? I make shit, that's just who I am. And I stopped asking myself why years ago. I can't say I've saved any money with this approach. I've probably spent anything I've saved down the tackle shop. Which, if I'm being honest, is a lot easier to visit than, than putting the hours down the workshop. But I'm just not a shopper. My nightmares are kind of <laughs> being stuck in one of them IKEA mazes while somebody plans my evening for me, erecting bits of mashed up tree and plastic with tools designed by the Spanish Inquisition. The thing I've realised lately is for me it's not all about the finishing line. I don't consider anything I've ever made to be finished. It feels like maybe I've just put them down for a while and I'll pick them up. There's always something to add or remove or some new technique or way of making things to explore. And these videos are a document of that. trying to teach anybody anything I'm a student and always will be these are my workbooks in a way but with all that said there is the kind of end of term prize which is a couple of hours down the lake and hopefully with some silver things for company thanks for watching